There are so many examples of writings which explicitly denounce sexual pederasty. Take Xenophon again, where he says that the ancient Spartan ruler, Lycurgus, viewed sexual pederasty in the same vein as incest. And in Athens, the views seem to be much the same. Take this law where it is explained that any adult men who were caught sneaking into the schools or the gymnasiums while boys were present would be put to death. Aristotle too often denounced sexual pederasty. Take this passage from the Nicomachean Ethics, in which he refers to the practice as a disease akin to plucking out one's hair or eating dirt, and says that it arises from being abused as a child. And lastly, take even Plato, who in his later books, and especially his last book titled Laws, had a complete change of heart on the subject. In this book, he refers to homosexual sex as unnatural, an outrage on nature, a capital surrender to the lust of pleasure. He states that it makes one lower than an animal, likens it to whoring, and says that, quote, sexual intercourse between men should be once and for all prohibited.